This is Carl from National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2020 Raptor fifth wheel model 423. You can see that. Okay. All right, so I'm on the door side of the trailer here, moving towards the rear. So, okay. So this, you know, that, that's obviously your garage door. We're not going to drop that and, and raise it lower here in this video, but when you come for your walkthrough, that can be, you can, you can do that. Um, now you notice that there's an awning at, at the top of this one. Okay. Also, you have uh, two more awnings. This, they're all power awnings, two more power awnings, one right here and then one at the front course. Uh, this, you have a, uh, a leveling system here. It's, that's uh, automatically levels it. It's made by Lippert. The controls are um, up front, so I'll show you that when we get up there. This is just the door to your garage. Okay. We'll go through that also. You have the, the bed lift on it, so you can raise them all up to the ceiling. And, uh, and, uh, Bring your, bring your dirt bikes or your four-wheelers or whatever you carry with you. In here you can also, uh, otherwise you've got two, two bunks to sleep on, which is a neat thing. You also have stairs down here that will attach to your deck when you, when you fold the back door down to the deck position. Okay, so we'll get into that. Um, also, triple axles obviously and then outside speakers. You have an outside kitchen and entertainment area here. So you basically you have a refrigerator works on 110 AC, uh, utility drawer here, okay, and you have a, a a grill here, right? Now the grill has to be plugged in, so the LP on the grill. Let me see if I can reach this for you. I know we're very close to this camera, but it's the best I have to work with at this moment. So you have this quick nut finning, and then if you go straight, I'll underneath you can see that if you can see that orange or that excuse me orange that yellow cap there that plug that's in a fitting that that is the quick connect fitting that this attaches to and, there, and then this will draw LP right from the trailers uh, LP system so you always remember you have to plug that in also yeah the grill part here is that goes on this uh, this one right here, that's that's there. And then, you know, of course, you got a remote for your TV. Just want to make sure everything's here, which it is. And you have light. Very nice. Your this particular um, stairs fold right into the trailer. So it's just basically you flip them inside. Make sure you clean the wipe the dirt off first or shake it off before so you don't you know, fling it into the trailer. That's the one downside, but. The rest of it is all upsides. The fast effect that is very sturdy um, is, uh, is the main attraction. You have actual even steps going all the way down. You can also put a handrail on this, for example. So there's a lot you can do with it. You can adjust the length of the legs. Uh, you just pull this pin right here, and then you can slide the legs up and down to adjust them for the terrain. So. Uh, you can make them whatever length you need to. All right, this is just power here. This is your basement on the door side. These are your, your vacuum cleaner attachments here. This is a three quarter inch crank here. The blue thing there is obviously a, a sprayer that you can attach to spray stuff down. This is the command center for your touch panel a monitor panel, a touch monitor panel in there. So we'll go over that a little bit too. I got to pick up the pace here. I'm not going to make all this in a half hour and my tape, my my system will uh, start a new file. So this is your, are your hydraulics obviously. Two LP tanks. Been here for you. Sorry about the camera work. I know I'm all over the place, but okay. So there is your 30 pounders. 
And this is, of course, locked. Oh, great. Okay. We'll come back to that. Two batteries. Now these batteries are wired together. It just doubles the storage. They're wired. They stay 12 volt. It's very important to have two batteries when you have a self-leveling system. The self-leveling system does not like uh, low voltage. So uh, to operate this one right here, if you can see it past the wire, you just turn it on right there. Okay. Uh, you would push auto level and it's just going to level your trailer. You can also do them manually. The directions are right here on this door, you can see. Okay. Um, also, you can scroll through it. Let me see if I can get my finger out, out of the way here. Um, you can manual mode. So if you do manual mode, you can select all the jacks independently from right there. Uh, auto retract. Um, okay. Your battery is at 12.6 volts where you want it to be. That's They put that on there because, like I said, it's very important to have the uh, to have full voltage when you're, when you're using that. Okay, so here's your water station here. Um, you've got your low point drains here. This is a kill switch for your batteries. You can shut them off just by going like that. So you don't have to unhook any cables. The sprayer would go in here, of course. Um, to winterize, you're going to use this port right here. To, for city water fill, you use this port. And um, your black tank flush is right here. So after you dump your black tank, you can hook the hose on there, turn it on and flush your black tank. Now, um, these basically... Let me see, what's what we have here? So if you want to winterize it, you're going to, you're going to turn the winterization on. And it'll basically buy... It'll set up for, uh, to to winterize and then you can bypass your water heater right here okay so you don't have to do anything else you can do it right from here um, so if you want to fill your fresh water tank uh, from the city fill here you can go to tank fill and it'll it'll instead of running uh, like typical city water where it feeds all the uh, fixtures it'll just fill your tank and then you can use the onboard pump to pump water the reason that's important, obviously, if you go to a campsite that does not, or a campground that does not have plumbing on the campsites, you can take your own water with you, and, and it'll work. And your trailer will work just like it does with city water. Your two valves, black and gray. This is for cable and satellite through. Okay. All right. So let me pick this up here. Way too slow. Um, all the controls for this are on the inside of the trailer, except. This little switch right here, hopefully you can see it, it's a rocker switch, it's off now. That controls the electric heating element that's behind, gosh, I wish I could see better, that's behind this, um, this, this panel right here. So there's an electric heating element. There's also an electric switch inside, but keep in mind this is sort of a holdover switch and it's out here, just so you remember it's there, okay? Alrighty. Your generator exhaust here, I couldn't open your generator because it was locked. But you can control it from out there, from there, but nine times out of ten you're going to use the panel inside, which we'll get to. All right. These are just refrigerator uh, service panels. Okay, this is your, your fill here. Um, unleaded fuel. And this is for your generator, only for the generator. So the generator runs off that one. So you got ice shucks. Well, I'm going to have to open this for you. Once again, I thought all this was open. I'm sorry. I don't have my keys in my pocket. But your, your fuel pump is inside there. Um, so you can fill up your toys. You have your, your station controls right here. Um, okay, you got a 50 amp cord, power cord, which is 30 feet long at 50 amp. We give you the reducers to reduce it down. Okay. Your ladder, you just pull the pins and fold the ladder down. It's a great thing because you can you, you don't have to drag a ladder over and f you don't have to find one that tall also to inspect your roof because um, they, the manufacturer will say inspect your roof every 90 days you figure three times a season you send somebody up there or you go up there yourself check out all the sealant on the roof all the um, 
basically any place you see lap sealant, you'll check for, for set cracking or for separation. Um, look around at the rubber membrane to make sure there's no road damage on it, if stuff got flung up there, tree branches, that sort of thing. So you have to inspect the roof, it's very important. Um, I can't emphasize that enough, and that goes for any, any trailer owner. Okay, let's go inside. So here we are. All right. So your control panel, the default is going to be four zeros, the default code. So we'll put four zeros in here. Come on now. One, two, three, four. Whoops, four. There we go. So to 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 uh, start your generator, it's right here. You could you prime it there. That's the start button. Okay. Go back. You can control your awnings from here, right, and the awning light. Uh, your slide outs from here, your internal lights here. Um, you can raise and lower your hitch heights right here also. Generally speaking, you're going to be using the, the panel on the outside for your leveling system. This is just telling you that it's pre-wired for solar panels. That's the sticker. Looks just like the panel that would go there and there's wires behind there. This is telling you it's pre-wired for a router and a signal booster. Okay, those are both options. Um, okay, and this is a sensor for your, for your uh, climate control. Alright. Um, I guess we'll go this way. I'm here already. Obviously, this is a GFCI. All, all the plugs are wired to a GFCI, so if you're using the plug outside and it stops working, it's going to be set inside somewhere, okay? Your um, sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. The toilet, if you don't know RV toilets, the bottom line is you have to have some water in it and chemical. If I step on the flush pedal, which is right here, that's the black tank directly below. So when I say empty, I'm referring to the black tank. So let's say you just pull up to the campground and uh, you hook up your power and your water. You'll come in here, you'll put one dose of chemical, whichever brand you use, one dose in there. Then you'll step on the pedal. Water will come swirling out and you're going to stand on it till you put about a gallon or so of water in there. There's no way to tell exactly what that is, but uh, the bottom line is this, if you don't do that, the smell will be unbearable and you'll only do it once. So uh, you got to have chemical and water when you start off with, uh, with the toilet. You got to power fan up here. Always run the fan with the shower to pull the humidity out. Okay, so this is this would be zone 2 I believe. So there's your air conditioner for zone 2. You got dual air conditions in here. Of course, the rest of it's self-explanatory. There's another sensor for the climate control. Alright. Let's pick it up here. Okay, so your theater seats have, um, it's the shake and bake model. You have a heater and it'll also vibrate. It uh, has light on it, that sort of thing. Uh, you have that on all the way around. Uh, let's see what, what model we have right here. Let me look over here. Okay. Um, this device right here is your carbon dioxide and LP gas detector. It should always be green like it is. All right, your fireplace works on 110 AC, and it, you can set the, the, the look of the... Of the um, of the fire itself, the flame itself, you can you can uh, set the timer on it to have it come on and off it when you want it to. You can uh, change the fan speed low, uh, off, low, and high, so you got different uh, fan speeds for it, plus a thermostat. So it's a really good one. And when you're just sitting around and it's a little cool, you don't have to use up your LP. You can just if you're plugged in, you can just use this. Okay. All right. So your sound system that plays uh, CDs and DVDs. You can stream off this USB here. It also has Bluetooth, so you can hook up wirelessly with your phone or tablet. You can still select the different speaker zones independently. And this is an HDMI in, so if you wanted to put like a video game in there to keep kids busy on a rainy day, or adults I guess these days now, uh, you could just put it right, go right into the system there, and it'll show through your, go through your sound system and into the TV. All right. Okay, just want to look and see what I'm not missing here. Okay. Um, the refrigerator, uh, 
Let me see what we got here. This one is works on either gas or electric. It's a gas absorption. That's what this button is here, the mode button. Basically, that, I don't know if you can see that, but right there, that's gas. That's electric. But most commonly, you're going to go to this one right here, which is automatic. Um, it automatically, electricity takes parameters, so it automatically seeks out 110 AC. If it can't find it or loses it, it'll automatically switch over to gas. That way, it won't spoil your food. So you're always going to keep it on that um, because of that when you're camping. So keep that in mind. Your, okay, your microwave works like any other microwave. Uh, your range, I'm not sure if he, he doesn't have the gas on, so I'll just talk you through it. Um, so you're just going to turn it on and you're going to spark this. Oh, I see he doesn't have the gas on, so you'll spark it. Okay, um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now with the, with the um, oven, basically, you'll go to, if you can see that here, I'm sorry about my camera work again. You go to the picture of the flame, then you depress it. Now there's a, a pilot light back there, all the way to the bottom to the back. See, I'll spark it so you can see it. I think maybe you can see it, sometimes you can't. But the bottom line is, you, you'll, hold, you'll hold this in on, on, on pilot light, keep it depressed, spark it until the, this light's down here, and after it lights, you um, continue to hold this for another 10 seconds or so, and then go to whatever operating temperature you want. But keep in mind, when you shut it off, the flame goes out, obviously, but so does the pilot light, so you have to relight the pilot light each time. All right, so let's see what else. This is your, your central vacuum here. Okay, and also there should be a, what did I miss here? Let me look around. Make sure everything is as it should be. Okay, that's good. So in the back here, we talked about a little bit about it when we are outside, but obviously your doors fold down, or your deck, or your ramp slash deck fold down. You can bring these, uh, all of these, or both of these bunks up all the way to bring your stuff in here or you can just pull the top one all the way up and then you can set this up into, into um, couches or fold it into a bed like it is now or fold it, you know, or like I said, raise it completely out of the way. Uh, also, uh, this is uh, the steps I told you about with the railing. Alrighty. So you have already hooked up for, for washer, washer dryer combo. I would suggest that the first thing you do is go buy caps for these and cap them off also. Just screw them on there. That way if you, this lever gets hit, it doesn't come gushing out of there. So you, uh, I would do that if I was you. There's another sensor, of course. Um, up here are, are your buttons here to control it. Your uh, bed lift, your awning, your lights, all that sort of thing are controlled there. Obviously another TV up there. Okay, this one probably has three speaker zones. I would think the bedroom, this living area, and the, the outside and garage are probably on the same one. So, Okay, I think we've just about got it. Let me look around real quick here. Yes, 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 okay. Yep, sure enough. Uh, so, uh, thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, don't forget what I told you about inspecting the roof. That's very important to do. And um, if there's any other information you need, you have packets in here. And that blue packet right there, actually, that has uh, uh, um, basically a manual for everything in here. You can also go online and punch in the serial number or the, the model, excuse me, the model number and the product. You can get manufacturer's videos. There's a lot other ways to get information, too. Um, so, okay. Okay, well, thank you very much.